Dozens of school districts throughout the state receiving bomb threats overnight. And just into the newsroom, we now have a statement from federal officials. The statement sent to our newsroom said this. The FBI is aware of the threats and they are working now in coordination with our state and local law enforcement partners to investigate. And as more details come in this morning, our Scott Jones has been staying on top of it all. Scott, what's the latest? Well, a lot is happening. Early this morning, the Henry County Sheriff sent out an email from an intelligence center that said a bomb bomb threat had been emailed to nearly 40 schools. Here's what we know. It was written in Arabic script and was translated as follows, quote, one of your schools has a bomb inside. It is well built, solid, and discreetly located. Considering that today is your last day, I think it is appropriate for you to pray to God. Allah is the greatest. And that was it. Even though the Shenandoah School District was the only one included in the list of nearly 40 schools that received that bomb threat, the sheriff notified all the schools within the county of that situation. Shenandoah School then determined it was in the best interest for the safety of the students and the staff to do an e-learning day. The Shenandoah SRO, along with deputies from the Henry County Sheriff's Office, completed a thorough search of the buildings with the assistance of a bomb dog from Delaware County, nothing suspicious was located. And after that, a lot of districts, as you can imagine, decided to do e-learning or just close entirely. Some stayed open. Now imagine being a parent and getting a phone call like this early in the morning. This is a message from Center Grove Community School Corporation. Center Grove Schools will be closed on Friday, April 14, 2023 with no e-learning due to a bomb threat. School building staff should not report today. All events are canceled. More information has been shared via email. Yeah, here are some of the schools affected. Center Grove closed along with Garen Catholic High School. There are e-learning days for Frankton, LaPelle, Lebanon Community School Corporation, Madison Grant Community, all the way down to Noblesville, Shelbyville Central Schools, and Western Wayne Schools closed. Not all schools are closed. Edinburgh Community School Corporation, they got the threat this morning and said schools were searched and the threat they said was not deemed as credible. So for the very latest on all this, you can go to fox59.com. By the way, I believe we're in the process of getting a statement from the Indiana State Police. As soon as we get that, Lindy will tell you that coming up in about the next 25 minutes or so. Guys, back to you. Yeah.